The other day, I remembered watching a few videos a while back about a game called GeoGuessr. My friends and I were bored, so we decided to give it a try. It's a browser game that gives you a random Google Street View location and a map. That's it. You need to navigate around Street View to find clues as to where on earth you are. The closer your guess on the map, the higher your score. It can be quite challenging depending on where it takes you. It's actually a lot of fun and makes for a good collaborative game sometimes, until you finish your first five rounds, that is. Why the payment wall, you ask? Well, stuff costs money. To make a long story short, Google doesn't let just anyone look at their picture collection for free. This especially applies to large sites that rake in thousands of users. Hey, I thought, my friends and I aren't thousands of people. I actually lied back there. Google does let people use all of their maps and Street View data for free. With restrictions, of course. As long as no one reloads the page 500 times a second for a minute and a half, we should be good. And honestly, why would anyone do that? So, after checking if the idea was plausible, I figured, hey, I'll make my own version. I can't take credit for all the code that went into it, because Google Maps' official documentation is incredibly good. I was able to copy and paste some example JavaScript code, and have it working in no time. All the rest of the functionality of the game itself was added by me, though. Here's what I have at the moment, but I think it needs a few more things. First of all, instructions. Unless they watched this video or are aware of GeoGuessr, a newcomer to the site could be a little confused. Next, it might be a good idea to add a bit of protection to stop people from doing that spamming I was talking about. Not that anyone would do that, I mean what kind of person would intentionally spam it to ruin the fun for everyone else? I mean what kind of person would it take to do that on purpose? I won't go into all of what I'm doing to prevent this, but I am adding a page where you can log in with Discord. This can help defend against larger attacks. But seriously, please don't try to ruin the fun for everyone else. And finally, some other random things I didn't think of until the last minute. Oh yeah, I forgot to name it. During my testing, I've been calling it FrioGuessr, which does have a certain ring to it, but it's sort of similar to GeoGuessr. We need something unique that fits the quick and dirty code that runs it. You know what, since I'm bad at names, leave your suggestions in the comments. If I like it and it's not taken, I'll make it the actual name of the website. For now, let's go with, I don't know, Spotplot. So at last, we have a working version you can play right now. But first, I strongly recommend going over to the real GeoGuessr and giving Classic Mode a try. Their version is so much better and comes with tons of settings, features, and challenges that add way more depth than my version ever could. And hey, it's just $1.99 a month, which honestly isn't that bad. But if you're not able to pay or don't want to and are satisfied sticking with my worst version for a bit, you can try it out using the link in the description. And hey, if no one uses it, maybe I'll release the source code. Let me know your high score in the comments below. There are 5 rounds with a maximum of 5,000 points each, so let's see if anyone can reach the incredibly difficult perfect score of 25,000. And yes, I know, people have made clones of GeoGuessr before. I know this because I looked it up right before posting this. So thank you for watching, please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!